Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we are going to make these naans. These are soft, pillowy naans. They are amazing. They are for sure to um, puff up as a balloon. And so, so if you want to learn how to do this, let's go ahead and review all the ingredients. Here we have two and a half cups of white flour, unbleached all-purpose flour. Here I have one cup of milk, which is lukewarm, a tablespoon of yeast, a tablespoon and a half of sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna use half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. You can use any salt you like. Uh, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, which is softened. It's soft, quite soft. And um, we're gonna use this in the end. So let's go ahead and start binding the dough. Now, before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our yeast in there, in the milk and the sugar in here. And we want this to start fermenting. So this is why I put this in before, because it's gonna start frothing. So there we go, we're gonna keep that aside. Now into the flour, uh, we're gonna add our baking powder and the salt. We're gonna mix this and now we're just gonna wait until our um, yeast mixture here starts bubbling. Then we're gonna start binding the dough. You see here that it has already started frothing. So at this point, I'm going to start binding the dough. So we're gonna take the two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna start working it inside our dough. This is going to be the trick of how our rotis or naans are just going to balloon up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rest this dough until it is doubled in size. And I know it's very sticky, but we're going to work with it later on. Let's go ahead and look at our dough. Okay, so if you look at our dough here, it has um, gotten a good rise. And so at this point, what I'm going to do is it's pretty sticky, which is still okay. Because if you want our um, naan to be really nice and um, soft, then it, the dough has to stay um, pretty nice and soft. So I'm just gonna put this on my kneading mat here. Okay. And now we'll just knead it enough to where we can start rolling it out. So you see here, coming together really well. I just dusted a little bit of flour onto the board here. Okay, so at this time, I'm just gonna make a hole in the middle, cut it. And this should yield um, about seven.
So I don't know if you can see, but it's about three to four milliliters um, thick. So I just want to show you how I have this under all the rotis or the nans are under um, a cloth so they don't dry off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to put, cook this on the stove top. Put that right onto the pan. Now we're not going to touch this. We're just going to be very, very patient and then you're going to see magic happening. Now, while that is happening, I wanted to show you that I have my stove on um, just a little bit, just a little bit above medium. And uh, so you don't want it too low. You don't want it too high. And um, if you look closely, you will see that there's a bubble right there. And this bubble is going to continue and it's going to puff the whole nun up. And I really wanted to show you one um, uh, and be precise and be very close and show you that this is what's going to happen. You don't want to touch it at all. Now here I also have some ghee. This is homemade ghee. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure and subscribe because I am going to be uploading a video on how to make... Um, Ghee. So you want to make sure that you watch that video. Um, so do you see how we haven't touched it at all? And now you have a roti or a naan um, that is just ballooned just like this. And it's just keep on going. It's going to get all the way on to the ends. And that's when what we're going to do is we're going to turn it. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it and I'm just going to cook the other side for about about 30 seconds just until I know that the bottom has some color on it and then I'm going to brush some ghee on top of it. Um, look at that, now we've got some color, we're just going to put that onto our plate and we're going to brush some ghee on top of this. and you have amazing roti uh, nans. This is the best recipe for making homemade naan that is even better than restaurant quality. So I'm going to go ahead, finish all the nans up, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut one open and I'm gonna show you how soft this beautiful naan has come out to be. Our nuns are ready. I am telling you, if you follow the recipe to the tea, um, these are amazing. So I come here, let me get them, give them the close up on this. Look at how beautiful this nun is. Look, 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 look. All right, let's cut into it. And look at this, look at the pocket inside. Um, they are just absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And I will do a taste test. These are better than restaurant. Um, this, this is better than having it at a restaurant. I'm telling you, give this a try. Um, I have worked on this recipe for over a month. I've been making this every two, three days to get it right. And I finally got it right. And so, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you haven't done so, hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.